everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. All right, so here he is, one of, if not the greatest, to ever put on a pair of four-ounce gloves. John Bones Jones. Daniel, this is the only man who has ever solved your game in a mixed martial arts setting. Johnny Bones back for more tonight. For me, I understand how special Jones is is because he is the guy that's been able to beat me twice. But when you go down and you look at the resume, you start with Shogun Hua, then you have the Rashad Evans, and the Rampage Jackson, then you have myself, Alexander Gustafson. It is a list of Hall of Famers that not many people can match when they say match your resume against mine. John Jones is a special talent, and he has shown that every time he has fought the very best the UFC has to offer. You put it well, in terms of the strength of schedule, I think he has the best resume of any UFC champion of all time. And of course, as he makes the walk here tonight, he puts that status on the line yet again. All right, so here he is, Khabib Nurmagomedov. His future in all likelihood is in the UFC Hall of Fame, but his present is this fight right now, once again taking on a fellow top 10, 155-pound fight. And when you've done everything that Khabib has done, that's all you see is the best the business has to offer. Yeah. And after the McGregor fight, his star shined more brightly than he ever could have imagined. I know how humble Khabib is. I know how much he loves to live in... Uh, privacy. Right. I understand that, but when you beat a Conor McGregor in the way that he did, he became an international icon, and it shows as you watch him in his pursuits of, of just opportunities and everything, but nothing is available to Habib if he does not take care of right. business in this octagon, and every time he steps foot there, he does exactly that, one of the most dominant fighters the UFC has ever seen. Going into that Conor McGregor fight, UFC 229, October of 2018, had about 4 million Instagram followers. Yes. How about 15 million? You got some catching up. I mean, the next day, he was up to 10. It was unbelievable. That's what happens when you fight Conor McGregor, and you beat him. Most lightweights say, top to bottom, the toughest matchup for them in this division is Khabib Nurmagomedov. We'll see how it goes for him here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena, in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib the Eagle, Nibago Meda. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. They touch him up, and we are underway. You ready? You ready to fight? All right, so here we go. Round one is underway, and when we sat down with him on Thursday, he understood the grappling challenge he was up against, but he's not afraid to engage on the mountain. It's a danger that is not worth risking. It is something that you don't want to play with. This grappler is that good. When this fight gets to the ground, you enter his world, especially when it looks like you hold the advantage on the field. Well, we talked about his rich advantage off the top. Made good use of it there with that punch, DC. Nice strike. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Cubby. 
underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand and strike with anybody in the UFC. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this Jones. Oh, that's a sharp hook there by Jones. Slips. Good stick. Just over three minutes to go. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. Well, he misses with the left punch there. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Leg kick. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Well, that kick landed the body beautifully placed right underneath that elbow. Let's see if he makes the adjustments now defensively to avoid opening up that midsection to further damage by that kick. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Johnny Bones Jones. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Straight right hand now just misses. Able to check that kick as well. Just missed with the left there. Oh, look at him land another jab there. He's certainly using that weapon effectively here tonight. The most effective weapon in all of boxing, in all of combat sports, is a jab. This young man has a knowledge of using it like no one else. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. Great punch. Nice. His chance coming in, big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC, talk us through the highlight. He got in his opponent's face, landed that big punch that put his opponent flat on his back. He couldn't get the finish, but if he lands one more time just like that, he will get the victory. Champs, second round now, your teammate Habib Nurmagomedov. And that man, John Jones. Nice. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Well, not much set up behind it. The right hook misses. Back and forth we go here. Well, no problem getting inside to the left. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Mago met up. Whoa! Whoa! News hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. So he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab? Oh, oh he chases that knockout line. He tasted the knockout line. He's done, he's done. Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. All right, DC, no Telestrator tonight, but we're gonna get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moments, you gotta show up, and that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 57 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout. Well, he 
he's smiling ear to ear, and why not after a knockout like that? I need a ticket to the after party tonight. I mean, this is what dreams are made of. You dream of the knockout like this, and then the party after, where you and all your coaches get to celebrate the great handiwork. Thank you for watching. Please wait for more videos. See you soon.